Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. We're back in the, well, we're in the snapshots as a snapshot did release uh, yesterday. And this is one of the first snapshots, well, actual snapshots, because there has been like uh, experimental snapshots. This is the first actual snapshot for 1.18. This is 21W37A. In this snapshot, it is basically just everything we've seen in experimental snapshots within actual snapshots. And this area is so cool. Now, this seed, I will post a seed in the description. As far as I'm aware, the seed is called Warden. But when Minecraft actually translates seeds, they translate them into numbers. So, there is a seed right there. It will be linked in the description as well. But yeah, I as far as I know, I typed in the seed Warden. And this is what I got. So, it's quite a cool seed. Uh, there's obviously a big, massive jungle cliff over there. And maybe we might build within that. But first of all, we're going to head to this village. So, let me just quickly talk a bit about this series. This is going to be a temporary series um, on these actual snapshots. So, yeah, it's disappointing, but it's a thing we have to deal with for now. Um, as Minecraft are probably trying their best to make it, as they always want people to play in worlds for as long as possible. They don't want people just to disown worlds and start new ones. They like people playing in worlds for ages. So, they will... They did state in the patch notes it will be soon, but they we don't know how soon soon is. Soon could be next week. Soon could be, like... 10 weeks time um we just don't know but this is actually quite a cool area and i really like um like maybe we might build within this area as it's really really cool so i just quickly that's a ocean here not an ocean aquifer can we actually swim into this no this just gets blocked off as i want to go into a cave and i really want to find like a dripstone cave or a uh, lush cave as I really want to build a base in like a big, massive, open, lush cave. That would be really cool. I have noticed that cave entrances seem to be a bit rarer. Um, at least for like main caves, not lava open cave, not lava water. As the uh, water aquifer cave entrances are like really common. But just finding a normal cave that leads down, it, they seem a bit rarer. But that might just be we're in a bad spot. I'm not too sure as I haven't actually found one just yet and normally there you'd like to see one. It might be because we're near a mountain and maybe they're rarer in mountains although this one might be one here. No, once again it's more water. So it seems like these are like so common but actual cave entrances are not. It could also be the fact that we are near uh, an ocean so there's a higher chance for water caves to be a thing as uh, that seems like the possibility. And I also did make magma under, like, in water caves a bit common. Lapis layer. Oh, that's kind of cool. Lapis spawns are higher up now. So, yeah, they did make magma a bit more common just so when you are swimming, there's, like, easier chances for you to be able to get air again. So, now I think I'm going to try and find a cave. I want to find one once again that isn't uh, surrounded by water. As it's going to be harder to explore if it's got water in it because of either drowning or having to place doors or something like that. That horse must be lonely on that little island. Let me know in the comments, have you guys, like, do you guys think uh, normal cave entrances are rarer? Or are they the same for you guys? Because it seems like they're a bit rarer. I don't know if that's just, like, where I'm near an ocean. I might, like, try and explore a bit further. But I just have to kill that glow squid, as you guys know. So, yeah. And another change I did make in this, axolotls will now only spawn in lush caves. And once again, it's it's a cave filled with water. Um, it's I'm now starting to think that maybe there's a bug. Um, or I'm just really unlucky. Okay, I just found this cave. I did have to quickly just jump into it because I did almost uh, die to a skeleton. And once again, it looks like it's most likely going to be filled with water down it. But I guess I can just block that off and hopefully that removes the water. No, nope, we don't want to get involved with that skeleton. Otherwise, we are going to die. Oh, God, there's so many skeletons. I need to get out of here because if any of them hit me, it won't take many shots before I'm actually dead. So let's see if this uh, cave over here is something. I'm hoping it don't link up to that other one. Okay, so yeah, maybe this is actually a good cave to explore. 
and mobs only spawn in complete darkness uh, in this version so we don't have to worry about like mob spawning if there's a torch within um, the area so let's quickly just make some sticks let's now just make a pickaxe and we are just going to basically do minecraft i want to stay within the mountainy areas because that is the stuff that is new within this snapshot so i don't want to like explore too much we might even go down deep into the caves as well because obviously that is new again um, it's not new to us because we saw it in 1.17 snapshots before it was removed and we also saw it in obviously experimental snapshots so we kind of like seen that all before but we now have lush caves and we also have dripstone caves so they will also be good to find and it seems like this cave don't actually go anywhere which sucks really bad okay so let me know what you guys think of this first snapshot in the comment section down below i just want to know do you guys like the changes now that they're actual snapshots and a lot more people can test them out as before it was like experimental they were buggy they weren't uh the performance weren't optimized is that that's a dripstone cave right there because dripstones can't spawn if unless there's a dripstone cave so that is pretty cool but yeah, so let me know what you guys think of this snapshot. Do you guys like the ex uh, extended height of mountains and biomes? Do you guys uh, prefer like before 1.18 or before uh, 1.18 snapshots? I just want to know what you guys think because in my honest opinion, I like that Minecraft now has more depth to it. But it's like a bit weird because you're not, I'm not used to yet running around and seeing big massive cliffs like that. So it's a weird one, but I, in all honesty, I prefer the way and the direction Minecraft is going. I think it's the best uh, they can do. Oh, there's so many glow squids. I have to go kill them, but I can't. There's too many, and I'll probably drown while doing so. Uh, let me quickly see if I can make a sword. There is also a thing where you can actually swim through caves, and you didn't die. Die. And you can find like a non-water uh, cave at the bottom of the cave. Like the uh, water will slowly dry out. Uh, maybe that is something we could try and do. Maybe like at the very bottom here there might be like a uh, open cave that don't have water in it. But I don't want to risk that because as you can see the bubbles go quite quickly. So it's like by the time I get down um, we're going to probably be almost dead. So that is also another reason why. I would like to, uh, to stay in my other world because we can explore ocean caves a lot easier. We have water breathing potions. We have a turtle helmet. We have stuff to help us survive in situations like this. So but, uh, obviously we can't update the world at the moment. So it don't really matter yet. But okay, this is also goes into... Are you going to blow you are? This also goes into a floating dripstone. A few floating dripstones. That is interesting. But yeah, this goes into a normal cave, it looks like, which is cool. So let's maybe explore this, although it don't look that big. Okay, that cave didn't actually go anywhere. It looks like there's another cave here. But I just want to talk about how awesome this actually looks. Coordinates are on screen if you do want to come here with the seed. But there's like one... Uh, oops, we're being pushed. There's like one, two, three, four, and almost five big, massive dripstone clusters going from the top to the bottom. And it's also surrounded by water. You could have like bases within these with bridges going from one to the other. That is awesome. So now let's see if we can actually go down here. Nope, it seems like it's just a dead end. Ah, uh, okay, that's disappointing. So what I think my best bet is to probably do is dig down. As I think that's the best thing. Maybe we will find a cave from doing that. And also because we are in a dripstone cave, there is increased copper spawn. So you'll probably notice copper is a lot more common within the biome we are actually in. And does it actually tell me that we're in a, uh, what's it called? I don't know if it tells me where we are in a dripstone cave. It does. Okay, so yeah, as you can see here, it tells you you're in a dripstone cave. But it then don't tell you the cave you're actually in that's above you. Sorry, I got a bit distracted. But I do want to now find a lush cave so we can actually go and hunt for some axolotls. So, I don't actually know the best way of doing that. I think let's go over to this cave over here. And then I think we're just going to dig down and hope for the best. As I don't want to spend this whole video looking for a cave. And at the moment, that is what it seems like it's going to turn out to be. Which I don't want to do. Now, this is a cave. So, this is quite big, quite open. Now, I'm hoping it actually goes somewhere and it don't just go to a dead end. And we need to get away before this skeleton gets us. 
So come on, let's quickly, quickly, Minecraft, be nice to me, please. Don't let me die. Okay, the skeleton has really bad aim. I think we're good. So once again, this looks like a dead end. I'm really hoping it's not. It looks like it is. Okay, we are now within the meadows biome. And I think we are not going to build a base here as I don't really like it. It's quite small. So I think next episode we're going to go hunt for a lush cave as it's not like that big of an area here. Um, so yeah, I don't really want to stay here as the like actual biome itself, the meadow biome, is quite small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly head down and an enderman did just teleport. I'm hoping it's not angry at me. Okay, so it seems like Axe are really OP. Nine attack damage, what? On a stone axe? What the? That is not normal. I don't think that's normal. It one hits like pretty much every mob. Wow, okay. That I don't think is... I think that's a bug. I don't think that's meant to be a thing. Unless has they always done nine damage? Okay, a diamond axe does nine attack damage. A wooden one does seven. A stone one does nine. A gold does seven. A iron does nine. A diamond does nine. And a netherite does ten. Now, I don't think that's normal. Have they nerfed how much swords do? Four, five, four, six, seven, eight. No. Okay, after digging around in loads of different spots, we have finally found it. So let's quickly just take all that. Now let's quickly swim up so we don't drown. Quickly just click the boat. There we go. So now let's actually quickly just eat some fish because these are cooked, so they will be good. And that was a lot harder to find than I actually thought. As you can see, I've dug quite a few areas and I couldn't find it. So let's quickly just take all of this. Let's ditch that. Let's take that and let's take the two spare food. There we go. We should now be good. So that is actually where I'm going to end this episode. If you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe and i guess i will see you guys in another video very soon next episode i'm hoping that we will find some sort of lush cave as i would really like to build my base within a lush cave i think that would be awesome and hopefully we can find maybe we will just have to hunt for an exalia tree so if you did enjoy leave a like and subscribe and i guess i'll see you guys next time bye